everybody so today I am going to do a sort of mini haul of items that I got from the gothic shop and from Amazon so first off let's talk about oh, this headpiece I love this thing I got this one from Amazon and it has like black roses on it and these cute little black horns and like this little jewel that hangs down the center. I'll come close up. Can you see that? I think it's so pretty. It's just like on a plastic headband and you know, they glue it on the roses and the horns. But I think it looks really lovely. And I think it was sold by Restyle. I don't remember how much it was, maybe like $39, $40, which I thought was a pretty good price. I don't know, I thought it was something cute to wear like to a Renaissance fair. In Carver, Massachusetts, we have King Richard's Fair, and I usually go there every year. And they have like the usual stuff there that they have at Renaissance fairs. Um, so yeah, I thought that would kind of be cute to wear. Let's see, what else? I'll do the... Amazon stuff first, I guess. So the next thing I got was these black rings. I'll actually, I'll put them on. They're just, they're made out of like, a, uh, I think they're just metal. But um, I really wanted them because I wanted the one that fits like on the front of your finger, like further up. They were wicked cheap. I think they were like three dollars, but they're just plain. Like that one's in the middle is just like a plain black. The one the finger is kind of top finger is kind of a, a, like a coil, springy design, and then this one's just a plain black one too. I think they're just um, neat, simple to wear. I, the only issue that I have with them is. They're metal, so the black is starting to scratch off if I like scratch them around too much, but whatever, they were like, like I said, like three dollars and I don't know, I think they're kind of cute. The next thing I got was these small little, I think they're fake, obviously fake leather and studded fingerless gloves. I thought that they were pretty 80s looking so I wanted them and let's see if I can get them on obviously with an outfit like this they wouldn't go because this is more of a gothy Victorian style and these are you know like rocker metal 80s but I think they look pretty badass what do you think They're cute. Um, I can wear them when I ride my motorcycle. No, just kidding. I do have a motorcycle, but I think if I wore these, they wouldn't be of any protection. You gotta wear like the full length leather gloves for the motorcycle. But I could look cool like cruising around town in my 80s sports car, my Trans Am. How about that? So yeah, I thought these were cute. And these were cheap too. I think these are only like $14, maybe less. I don't remember the store that I got them from through Amazon, but if I look it up, I'll put it in the comments below and let you guys know. All right, and then I just have a couple items from the Gothic shop. I found them because I was following them on Instagram and I kept seeing like cool items being posted. And I'm like, all right, I need to go on there and buy some stuff. But I think they're in the UK, if I'm correct. So it took a little bit to get here, but it wasn't too bad. And the first thing is this necklace I got. It's sort of like a cameo with a crow on it, a raven, whatever you want to call it. And I love ravens. They're like my favorite. I have on this arm, I have a raven tattoo, and then I have one on my back shoulder. I don't even know if you can see it. But, can you see that? It's kind of 
hard to see, but I actually had a spider tattoo back there before. I got one I was, oh God, I think I was 17 and a bunch of us went up to Montreal in Canada and we just were stupidly drunk and got tattoos done. And that one I got with a, it was like a spider on a web. It was so bad that I had like the skin was really raised up and the lines kind of all bled together. So you, it, you couldn't even tell what it was. So a friend of mine ended up covering it up for me with this raven that I have now. And it doesn't look the greatest, but it's a cover up tattoo. So it looks better than anything that I had before. So yeah, so back to the necklace. I like it, it's lightweight. It's, it's like a plasticky material. The only thing that I don't like about it is the chain is a little long on it. So I had to pin it in the back to stay up tighter or else it would be like down here and I hate that. I hate when necklaces come down too low. And then I got I got another necklace from them. I actually wore this in my last video that I posted, my vlog when I went to go see kicks at the uh, Wolf Den in Mohegan Sun. It's a bat. I, I don't know. People say it's a bat. I originally thought it was a dragon, like dragon wings and then there's like the dragon eyeball in the middle. I don't know if you can see that, but let me know what you guys think. Is it a bat? Is it a dragon? What is it? But I think it's cute. I like the colors in it. Um, I like obviously the style of it. The only issue that I have, well actually I have two issues with it. One, it's a lot cheaper looking than I thought it was gonna be. In the picture, it looked a lot nicer. And then when I got it, I'm like, eh, this just looks like a piece of plastic. And then the other thing is the corners, like they're, they're sharp. So when I wear it, it kept like scratching my chest up here and it was kind of itchy. So that's the only complaints. I mean, it looks cool, but I wish it was a, a little bit better. My next item is a purse. Now this item I am really, really upset about because, and it's my own fault, because I didn't read the description properly, but it was it's a purse, it's a bat purse, but like I, it's so small. Like I literally looked at the picture, I'm like, oh, that's a cute pocketbook. I thought it was gonna be like this big, like a regular big bag you could carry things in, and then I got it and I was like, oh my God, it's like a teeny tiny little purse. And it wouldn't be so bad if I could actually fit anything in it. I can literally, literally put in maybe like my ID, money, lipstick, and that's it. My phone won't even fit inside this thing. It's so small. I mean, it's so cute though. I mean, I love, you know, it's a bat. I think it's so cool and like it's got a long chain and stuff, but it really is just, it's kind of useless. You know, because nowadays people, you know, always have their phone with them and like, look, I like, I literally cannot, I can't fit my phone in there. Like I can't even like sm smush it in there at all. So I don't know, it might be just like a cool accessory or if you're just going out someplace and you don't bring your phone or I don't know what I'm going to do with it. Maybe I'll do like a giveaway. Would anybody want this? out there, any of my subscribers. Maybe I'll do a giveaway at some point if I don't end up using it. So then I have two more things and both things are items of clothing. Sorry, I didn't take any of the stuff out of the bags. I haven't worn these yet. They're just leggings with a sort of branch, tree branch design on them. And these are like a gray, a gray and black. I don't know if you can tell from the lighting, but they're really nice, soft material. I have another pair of pants like this that has like almost like an outer space design on it. But I love trees, branches, like that kind of decor. I just love it. I have it like all over my house. Um, anytime I find like a tree, I'm like, ooh, I mean, I even have the tree uh, big arm tattoo right here that you've probably seen in pictures. But I have yet to wear these, but I have high hopes for them because I really like them. Oh, and th this is Restyle. 
too. So, I mean, I got this from Restyle on Amazon, this from the Gothic shop, so whatever. And then lastly, I got a pair of, another pair of leggings. I wore them the other night when I went out to Kicks, and I put a picture of them on Instagram. Maybe I'll pop it up here. And they're almost like a fake leathery looking and they're corset style, like they lace all the way up. And I will get up and show you guys. I really don't know if you guys can see this. I really can't see the camera from here. I'm going because I'm blind and number two, the light shining right on me. But you can see it. They're like laced all the way up here. And then there's a mesh here. With like a really pretty design. Come a little closer. I don't know if that helps. Nope, that doesn't help. So yeah, that that was leggings, and I actually read somebody else on YouTube had bought. I was pretty sure were the same leggings, and they said that they were really itchy and uncomfortable but I don't find that to be the case at all they're actually really comfortable the the embroidered area with the mesh I thought it was going to be itchy from what that person said but it's not so they're really comfortable so I recommend these I don't remember um, who made these ones I'll look it up and then I'll I'll put it below if you guys are interested in them but they also said to buy a size larger than you normally would because they run small and I agree with that. Um, this size is perfect for me. If I bought a smaller size, that would look like a stuck sausage. So, so yeah, that's all I got um, from the Gothic shop and from Amazon. I usually buy a lot of things from Amazon. Oh, I have one more thing that I didn't, I haven't gotten yet. It's been like, two months I think. It's a really cool purse. It's black and white with bats on it and I was looking forward to showing you guys but I've been waiting and waiting and it hasn't come and I'm like alright I need to do this haul video because I've been holding on to this stuff and I've already worn half the stuff so I kind of wanted just to get it out of the way but when I get it I'll I don't know show you guys something if you're interested but I hope you liked today's haul video. Hope it wasn't too boring. I don't know. I really like the items. I'm satisfied with most of them. And if you have any questions, let me know and I will answer them as best as I can. So I appreciate you guys watching. Please comment, like, and subscribe. I really appreciate it. And until next time.